So once you are on Yahoo Finance, and I think the first one it asked you for was McDonald's, which I know is MCD. If you didn't know that, you could just type in McDonald's correctly though. And as soon as you get enough letters, it comes up MCD anyway. So once you have McDonald's opened up, if you are in the fourth period class, you probably only see data to about here. If you're in the ninth period class, you see probably to about this spot. This is at the end of the day, so you're seeing the whole day. So you go to wherever the current price is. So let's say the current price ended here. It's going to be up here anyway. This number is the current price, and it's also right at the end of the list. So that was that is your current price. Just below the chart, it says previous close. That's where it closed the day before. So a lot of times in those notes, it asks you for the closing price on the previous day. It would be found right here. And the current price would be wherever this graph ends. Whether it's here, ninth period, or back here, fourth period, or really just this price here. And this is gonna change every couple seconds, so just pick something that you see and go with it because it's gonna change up and down by a couple of pennies over and over. Now, if some of the questions ask for, again, McDonald's, but value a year ago, you would just go to one day, five days, one month, all the way to one year. One year ago was March 21st, 2017. So you take your black dot and you go all the way back to the very beginning and you can see the price on the right side of the screen in black. It's right about here when I go back over there. It's a little black price tag and it says 128.52. So that's how you find a year ago. You click one year ago and then drag it all the way back to the beginning and it says 128.52. Now once you get the numbers you want and you type them in here, I'm gonna make these completely up out of the blue. If the new price was say $45.32 and the old price was $43.96, it gives you the percent change. It was a gain of 3.09%. Now, if you want to reuse this calculator, which you will, there's uh, so many questions on that packet, just copy, paste it, paste it, just like that. Okay? And then submit that as the assignment when you are done.